help tidy up. Aunt Ruby and Cousin Steve will be here any minute. Why do they have to come for Christmas? Aunt Ruby only ever gives me socks. I know. Maybe you could try being nicer to Steve. I hate Cousin Steve. You want to know why I hate Cousin Steve? This is my house. This is Steve's house. This is my paddling pool. This is Steve's paddling pool. I think you get the picture. Henry, help your mother, please. Really? I'm getting one too! And a boom boom basher! Me too! And that's just from Mother. Santa's bringing the rest. If he has any room after all mine! Boys, why don't you go outside and uh, see who can build the biggest snowman? Huh? What? Look! Mine's bigger than yours already! I want to play. Finished! That's not a snowman. Yes, snowmen don't have wings. <gasps> now it looks more like a snowman. Hey! He's my brother! Oh, thanks, Henry. So I get to break it! <laughs> Mine's the biggest! Mine's the biggest! Mine's the biggest! <laughs> Trapped than you are. No, I'm more trapped. <laughs> there. Oh, Peter, that is pretty. I knitted it myself. I had to have mine specially made. Oh, <gasps> Mum, oh, we've forgotten the mince pie and milk for Santa. Uh, coming right up. I wish tomorrow would come now. Why? So you can watch me open all the presents you wish you had. Christmas is about giving, not receiving. Silence, worm! If you're nice, I might possibly let you have a go with my galactic goo shooter. No, thank you. I'll have my own. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? <laughs> Peter, no party. 
Dirty. All right, but you better keep out of my way, worm. Yes? The birthday boy's name is Henry. <laughs> Henry, when you went to Laser Zap for Ralph's birthday party, did you break all the lasers? No. And put slime in everybody's spacesuits? No. What about the goo in the moon boots? Oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't me. Well, Laser Zap have banned you. That means the party will have to be here. No! I want to go to Laser Zap! I promised everyone a great time! Don't worry. I know lots of good games. His mum's going to drop him off when he's finished. You'll have to start without him. OK. Go! This is from... I know! It's a pack of felt pens. Do you like it, Henry? Mm, I've already got some. Henry, what do you say? Thank you very much. Next! It's a tapestry kit. I chose it myself. Why? Ooh, ooh, I'll have it if you don't want it, Henry. Brilliant! You've got some animal soap, a CD of fairy tales. Oh, wow! Cook your own healthy, nutritious food! Fantastic! <laughs> what do you say to everyone, Henry? <laughs> Henry! Can this party possibly get any worse? Party games, everyone? Yep, it can. <sighs> pass it on, Henry. Yeah, look, like, pass it on, Henry. <sighs> Come on, Henry, pass it on. All right. Here you go, worm. <laughs> Be horrid, Henry. Now, who wants to play musical statues? Ooh. He moved! Didn't? You pushed me? Did not! Did! Henry, I'm warning you. Yes, Henry, we're having fun. No, we're not! This is fun! Yeah! Go kill a rat! Let's dance! <laughs> Henry, look who's here! Nay, no, nay! No, 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 It'll have to wait till later, Henry. Tea's ready. At least tea's going to be good. Sticks. Want a crisp? No thanks, Henry. I'm staying fit and healthy. Henry, you were right. This is a good party. It's so easy being me. I'm Secret! Well, if it is a time machine, then I want to have a go. You can't. You're 
you're too young. I'm not. And I don't believe you anyway. Then watch this. I'll prove it's a time machine by travelling to the future. Stand back. You don't want to get scorched by the Vortex Blast. I don't believe you're going to the future. Whoa! The Vortex! Ah! Into the future! Henry? Have you really gone? Wow! It really is a time machine. <laughs> What if he is stuck in the future? What if he never comes back? I could watch whatever I want on TV! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Where am I? Henry? Peter, I've been to the future. But you're old. Yes. I went to the 23rd century. I met my great-great-great-grandson. He still lives in this house, and he looks just like me. So he's ugly? What did you say? Uh, uh nothing. Uh, uh, what's it like in the future, Henry? Horrible. Uh, I mean, horrible. Everybody just eats vegetables. All the boys wear dresses. And everybody talks in Ugg language. Ugg? Uh, Bibble Ugg Blay? Oh! Oh! Sigurd the Whip Whip! Lolly Nyub? And kids have loads of homework. Ooh, homework? I'm going to the future. I want to see it for myself. Uh, Peter? You can't stop me, Henry! But, Peter, you can't go like that. They'll laugh at you. Oh, no! Wait there. Right. Now you look just like a boy from the future. You won't be able to speak Bibble Babble language unless you drink this Bibble Babble drink. I'm ready. Now remember, when you arrive, count to ten before you come out. Don't want bits of you to end up in the wrong century. Goodbye. Whoa! For phase two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it didn't work. Ugh! Henry? Ugh, ugh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Ugh, 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 drink, bloop. <laughs> I am Zog. Uh, I am Peter. Ah, you are my great, great, great uncle Peter. Your very nice brother Henry told me all about you when he visited me from the past. This is how we greet people in the future. Welcome! Wait a minute. Henry told me boys in the future wear dresses. They do. But you're not wearing a dress. I'm a girl. Hmm. Henry would never say he was a girl. I must really be in the future. This is just like my old living room. You are in the Peter Museum. You're very famous here in the future. Look, here's your buddy and your maths book. You hold the world record for doing sums. Really? It's so easy being me. I'm Ah, 
dinner is served. <coughs> oh no. I'm all grown up now. I promise to behave. You're going to bed early tonight, Henry. It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair! It's still not fair! What are you cooking tonight, dear? Salmon with lime and ginger and, uh, chocolate mousse for dessert. Mum, I'm really looking forward to meeting the Mossies tonight. Nice try, Henry. <laughs> but it's not fair! Peter gets to stay up and you're having chocolate mousse! I love chocolate mousse! Mr Mossy wants to hear Peter play the cello and then it's off to bed for him as well. I'm rather looking forward to an early night. <laughs> I understand that grown-ups need to be by themselves sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Go to your room! I won't! I want to stay up! I want chocolate mousse! I want... Upstairs now! And don't come out until I tell you. Oh, oh. The dinner guests are here! Oh no, the mousse! I'll have to make another one. <sighs> Good evening. Hello. Delighted to meet you, Mr and Mrs Mossy. I'm Peter. What a journey! Put Hercules down, dear. Look, Fluffy, a nice, big, tasty mouse. Help Peter's cello sound better. Poor oh, Hercules. Mummy will protect you. They really ought to keep that wild beast locked up. It's just not fair. I'm stuck here while they're all having fun. Mm, chocolate, chocolate mousse. Well, if they won't invite me to dinner, I'm inviting me to dinner. Perfect. Dinner is served. Uh oh. Peter doesn't play that well. Someone has tampered with your music, Peter. neighbourhood for the kids to grow up in and, oh, um... Hercules! Bad dog! I must apologise. Has he eaten them all? <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a few nuts. I didn't know they could jump that high. Neither did I. Hmm. He must enjoy a challenge. Hmm. Got to be careful. Time for Operation Grizzly Grub! They're gonna love this! Henry? You're supposed to be upstairs. But I want to meet Mr and Mrs Bossy. Crisp? How sweet. Mossy, not Bossy. But Mum, isn't that what you always call them? <coughs> Peter, get Mrs Mossy a drink. Right away, Mum. 